Hello, welcome to my 3D platformer tutorial series. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is going over how to download some assets from the asset store, get ourselves a character, uh, and set it up with a character controller so that we can use that in our game. Um, I do this because uh, getting a good model or creating a model for a character um, can be quite difficult. Creating the, the, the character controller scripts for it can be quite difficult, and I really want this tutorial to be aimed more at beginners, and we can still use pre-made assets from the asset store in our game that can help us along the way. So, um, if you're new to Unity, I highly recommend you check out my How to Make a Game in Unity for Beginners tutorial. Um, it's going to go over a lot of the basic functionality of maneuvering through Unity, uh, different shortcuts and whatnot that I use. Um, it'll basically just get you started in in in, in making a game. So um, be sure to check that out. Um, otherwise, if you enjoy the series, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's get this started. All right, so first thing we want to do, as always, is set up a new project. I'm going to call this 3D Platformer. Make sure the 3D setting is ticked, and click Create. All right, so now that we're in Unity, uh, I want to start kind of building uh, uh, our world a little bit so that we have something to work with. Um, I'm going to start off with just putting in a cube here in the hierarchy. I'm going to right click, go to 3D object and select cube. And this cube is just going to act as like a temporary ground for our player to stand on so we can test him out and, and all that. So I'm not even going to bother naming it right now because we're going to delete it pretty quick here. Uh, but I do want to come over to the transform and scale it up on the X to about 20 and on the Z to about 20, just so that there's plenty of room for us to run around with our character. So speaking of the character, uh, I wanted to kind of show off how easy it can be to create a game from assets from the asset store. Um, we are going to be uh, getting into scripting and whatnot, but I want to, so doing like a 3D character controller with, uh, with the model and animations and whatnot, it's, it's a little bit more on the advanced side, um, and it, 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 it takes quite a bit of time to really get it all set up, um, the right way. So I'm not going to go into like all the specific details about that. I just want to use some pre-made assets. And the character that I decided to use was this character elf here. And it's a free asset. It's just the model itself. There's no animations with it or anything like that. So it is... Um, we can uh, create some animations with another asset here, a character controller asset that I'm going to use. So I already have this downloaded, so I just got to click import. If you, um, if it says download here, just click download then click import. It only takes a couple of seconds. And once this package uh, pops up here, I want to get rid of really just this in here. Everything else um, I kind of need, but I don't need this extra scene here. So I just want to import only what I need here. So let's import that, and should only take a couple of seconds. Perfect. So now we got this new folder down here called character underscore elf. If we open that up, we have all of these materials, mesh, prefab, stand, textures. I want to go to the prefab folder, and this is going to be the prefab that we're going to use. So if we go into our scene view, we can just actually drag and drop that right onto our little platform here. So, um, yeah, so this is this is him. Um, he's just a standard character in a T-pose. There's no animations for him or anything like that. Uh, so what we need to do is go back into our asset store. And there is another free asset called third person plus fly. 
I mean, they have a, so they have a paid version of it with just additional, um, content in it. Uh, we're just going to use this free version here of this, and I already have it downloaded once again, and I'm going to import that. It might pop up with this warning here. I noticed some of the older versions of Unity don't pop up with this version or with this message, but uh, it just it's just saying that it's going to overwrite some of the current project settings. So and that's just fine. Uh, I don't have any issues with that at all. So let's click import. And then there's a lot of this in here that we're actually not going to use at all. Um, so I want to go through this really quick and figure out what we don't need. Um, I'm just going to keep this animations folder here. Um, I don't think we're going to use any of the, we're not going to use any of the fly animations actually. Um, so I can just unclick those two, but everything else in this animations folder we can keep. Um, I want to keep the animator folder and in the materials folder, I only want this physics material. So I'm going to uncheck the materials folder and then make sure that this character dot physics material is checked. I can collapse that. Um, I don't need these models at all. We're not going to use those. I don't need the readme file. Oh. Um, and then I don't need the scenes here either. So as for, let's see, the scripts folder, level script, there's, there's a character tutorial, hint management. I don't need either one of those. I do want to keep this third person orbit cam because uh, we're going to use that for our camera. And then this player script, uh, I don't need this fly behavior at all. Uh, if you want to, if you want to make your character fly around, keep this fly behavior. Also keep, uh, keep these animations up here. Um, but I'm not going to be going through that in this series. I don't really want my character to be able to fly around. Um, and it's also not like a third person shooter game either. So I don't need this aim behavior either. So I'm just going to keep the basic behavior and move behaviors. Uh, I don't need anything in the textures folder. And then in this project settings, the only thing I need is this input manager. So I'm going to uncheck the whole folder and then make sure input manager is checked. So and then that is all I need to do in here. So let's go ahead and click import. And this should only take a few seconds as well to import. So We'll just give it a minute, and then we can go ahead and start setting up our character to be able to run around this platform. Mm -hmm. This is taking a little while. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So now in our asset folder, we have this third person plus fly folder. Um, what we need in here, let's go to the scene view uh, and go on to our character L. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and rename this as player really quick. And then over here in the inspector, let's go ahead and tag him as the player as well. Um, on his animator here, uh, it says none, so let's click click this little circle over here on the right side of the animator and double click character controller. And let's, we're going to add another component. Let's get those physics in here. We need a capsule collider. And under material, let's click the little circle and click the character physics material. And then from here, we need to set up this circle collider. What we can do is let's set the height, I believe is 1.9 for this guy. And then the center is going to be half of that. So 0.95, I believe is half. Yeah. And then we can bring in the radius a little bit. Let's say 0.25. And that should be good. And the only thing that I want to point out here with the capsule collider is if we go down here to where his feet are and we look at the grid lines here in the background, um, this capsule collider is exactly the same position as like the feet. 
And what I really want to do is have this be just below the feet, because while if they're touching the ground at the same time, it might cause us problems when when our character is trying to detect what the ground is. So I want to just bring this center down to 0.94 so that this circle collider is always colliding with the ground before the feet are. So, and that should get rid of any issues we have with, like, detecting the ground and whatnot. So, now that we have that set, let's go ahead and add another component. We're going to add the physics component, uh, rigid body. So, and then we can give the mass about 75. Oh, uncheck is kinematic. Uh, we want them to use the get gravity, uh, let's see, constraints. We'll freeze the rotation on the X, Y, and Z. That way he doesn't uh, fall over or anything like that. And now we just got to add the scripts to it. So in our third person plus fly, fly folder, let's go ahead and open up scripts, player scripts, and I can just shift click both of these and drag these onto our player. And if we come over here in the inspector, we can start setting up all of that. So the player camera, we're just going to drag in our main camera under the basic behavior script. And that's all we need to do on that one. And then on the move behavior, I want to leave that how it is. So uh, let's go into our level scripts folder in the third person plus fly folder. And we can drag this uh, third person orbit camera script onto our main camera. And then if we look at that component here, it needs to know what the player transform is. So we can just drag the player into that slot. All right, so now all of the scripts are hooked up to each other. And in theory, we should be able to run around uh, on this little plane. So let's go ahead and hit play, and using the WASD keys, we can definitely move around. If we are moving forward, you'll see that there's a little bit of an offset to the right of his shoulder from the camera. Um, also, if you move around the mouse, um, you can kind of orbit around uh, the player, just like that. Uh, we can jump. We can sprint. By holding shift, jumping is space, and I believe, yeah, if we use your, if you use your scroll wheel, you can switch between walking and running, and yeah, that's kind of cool. So the only thing that I really don't like is uh, this kind of over the shoulder view, um, and then I'm not really fond of this uh, orbiting. I mean, I. I like it when you can go left and right, but not up and down and orbit all the way around the character like this. I feel like that should be like an extra button that you can click so that you can view your own character or something. I don't know. But so we're going to fix a couple of things in this, just tweak it up a little bit. So down here on the main camera, uh, third person orbit cam script. Let's go ahead and go to the camera offset in the X position and switch that to zero. I also want to bring it back behind him a little bit more. So we're going to say minus, uh, let's say 0.4, or what was it? was it? Yeah, not 0.4, minus 4, just like that. And then let's go ahead and switch this uh, vertical aiming speed to zero. That way our mouse doesn't go up and down or choose move the view up and down like that. And we can keep the horizontal for now. We'll see. How, we'll see what that looks like. Here in a minute, I want to bring it, bring the camera up a little bit behind him like that. So maybe 1.5 and we'll see how all this looks uh, really quick before we move any further. So I kind of like that. So I can't move the camera up and down with my mouse, but I can go left and right. Maybe I can make that a little bit more sensitive to the movement. So I'm going to bring this maybe to 10 and try it. Oh, another thing I want to point out too, all of this, all of the coding for this is in the awake function. So it makes it, if you try and change this uh, 
in the in play mode it's not going to automatically update in the game so you need to stop and stop the stop running the play mode and then make your changes play it again see what it looks like if you want to change it again stop it change it play it and then it'll update and show you what it looks like it's kind of annoying but it's it's manageable so but anyways uh let's um I think that's good with the mouse. So let's go ahead and leave it like that. So perfect. So we have everything here set up. Um, we have a character controller on our player. You can see that he's got his animations running, um, which is great. Um, we didn't have to have any additional animations for that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So in the next episode, what we're going to be doing is uh, creating the world for for this guy to kind of explore. Because right now this uh, this platform is uh, it's not very uh, not very entertaining for him. So uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, hit the bell notification icon if you enjoy this series. Um, you'll get updated every time I release a new video. So thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time.